Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm off on the road servicing equipment at various facilities, and I want to show you guys something about boom arms. So this one here is just a monitor boom arm, but uh, I'll show you some of the adjustment points and why I'm here in the first place and how I'm going to remedy that. So let's go ahead and let's do it. All right, guys, here is the back of the monitor. You can see it's on a ball swivel, visa mount. And you can see the cables are not really done so well. This area right here is where the cables protrude through this particular model. It's different ones. They might come out the bottom or whatnot. But uh, notice how that it's got this abrasion resistant band. It was way down here around the loop, which is obviously not where it was intended. It's supposed to be up here where the cable actually rides against metal surfaces. Because as I've always said, Things that are soft will wear and tear where they meet rigid things. And that's exactly what we have here. So the reason I'm here for this particular work order is because the monitor arm drifts down. So when I showed up, they demonstrated it to me that it, it did indeed drift down. And that's why I have to adjust the tension. And in order to do that, there's a cam. Well, on most of these, there's no indicator of where to adjust. On this one, you can see it says... Do not adjust unless fully extended horizontally. That actually relieves a lot of the load. So I took off two Phillips fasteners here and on the other side. I didn't need to do that in order to show you guys this, but I think it's a better demonstration with me opening it up. So you can see that there are two torsion arms right here and they actually move like this. So the cam is right here. So what you would be doing is you'd be reaching through with usually a, a T slot or a uh, T Allen and it adjusts right here clockwise, adds tension, counterclockwise, removes tension, and it comes up to here. So take notice on this particular model, they have these little um, finger nuts and these allow tension to each of your points of articulation. So you can see that one up there. Uh, so it was rotating here, so I had to adjust that one. And this one here was a little too tight, so I had to loosen that one up. But now I've got this junction right here, which seems to be a clamping adjustment, which is done at installation. It's really a pain to adjust that one. And then you have these ones here, which adjust uh, for the minor articulation of the monitor. And down underneath this, is where you are going to adjust the clamping of the ball. So one of the things you can do if your ball is slipping too much is first, I would spray something in there like electronics parts cleaner because sometimes it's goo that gets up in there and it doesn't allow the friction to do its job. Take care of that. Take notice of any areas where cables might be wearing and tearing and rubbing. And on this particular one, you see right here on the metal surfaces, you can see where the cables were wearing and tearing. So I slid this guy all the way up. That should protect him. Save him from a couple thousand dollars worth of wear and tear in the future. Yeah, there you can see the adjustment point. So one of the things you do have to be aware of when adjusting these is they should be uh, rechecked after you adjust them with all the components installed because things like the covers add to weight and just a little bit of weight will increase drift. So I've already done that, but I opened it back up to show you guys because I think you guys should know how to adjust boom arms, but there are articulation points at every single knuckle and they are adjustable. Usually it's a set screw, but on these ones here, they have little T nuts, little finger, finger nuts or wing nuts. Anyway guys, there you have it. So even though booms are something that should be done by some of it's specially trained, if it's minor things like adjustments, go ahead and uh, take a look because there's usually an adjustment point. So as long as you have a good set of T Allen wrenches, you can get in there and adjust them. Just a little crank down. The other stopping point that you're going to be adjusting is gonna be your bump stops for your top and for your rotation. Sometimes they'll shear off the bump stops for the rotation, which you can see on this particular model. I've got little pins. You can see the little pins up there. If those pins get sheared off, it'll allow the staff to rotate it around and around and that will damage your cables by twisting them too much. So check your bump stops when you do your PMs and inspections on these lights and booms as well. Thanks for watching, guys.